so I'd never heard their stories, and since it was an all-day training, I said, talk, you know, because <laughs> we had to fill the whole day. So Jose got up there, and I'd never heard his story, and, and he began kind of in a, in kind of a self-effacing, very humble way. He goes, I guess, I, don't, I guess you could say that my mom and me, we didn't get along so good. I guess I was six when she walked up to me and she said, why don't you just kill yourself? You're such a burden to me. Well, the whole audience gasped. And then he says, it sounds way worser in Spanish. <laughs> and people did what you did. I guess I was nine when my mom drove me to the deepest part of Baja California. She walks me up to an orphanage and she says, I found this kid. She left me there for th three months until my grandmother could get out of her where she had dumped me and my grandmother came and rescued me. My mom beat me every single day of my elementary school years with things you could imagine and a lot of things you couldn't. Every day my back was bloodied and scarred. In fact, I had to wear three t-shirts to school every day. First t-shirt because the blood would seep through. Second t-shirt, you could still see it. Finally, the third t-shirt, you couldn't see any blood. But kids at school, they make fun of me. Hey, fool, it's 100 degrees. Why are you wearing three t-shirts? And then he chokes back his tears at this point and he stops speaking. He seems to be staring at a piece of his story that only he can see. I wore three t-shirts well into my adult years because I was ashamed of my wounds. I didn't want anybody to see them. And now I welcome my wounds. My wounds are my friends. After all, how can I help heal the wounded if I don't welcome my own wounds? And awe came upon everyone. <laughs>